With last week's developments surrounding racist comments attributed to the Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling, race is certainly in the news, but could race play a hand in New York politics, specifically the governor's race? Well, joining us now are political analyst, New York Post state editor, Fred Dicker. And Fred, tell us more. This sounds intriguing. I did see your column today, and I got some follow-ups, but I'll give you a chance to explain yourself. Well, we talked about some of this last week. The uh, Republicans, Rob Astorino, the candidate, thinks that the governor made a big mistake in attacking uh, Westchester County and Rob uh, Astorino's position on zoning laws there, with the governor and his people saying that uh, the uh, Westchester County uh, Republicans and a lot of Democrats are uh, flirting with racism by supporting existing zoning laws, which don't explicitly seek to exclude anyone. But the state, but the uh, federal government through HUD has claimed that they have the effect of adversely uh, harming poorer people. Uh, this is an issue we're going to hear a lot about in the coming election. I think there's no question about it. Now, with the choices coming up for lieutenant governor, it's also coming into play. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. You say that uh, Lieutenant Governor Duffy is pretty much uh, a foregone conclusion to be out gone. of the picture. Gone. Okay, there you go. Gone. In, in Fred's words, gone. Um, and, and it's interesting because, I mean, that's always such a low-profile job. I mean, what has he done so terrible? I mean, honestly, you haven't heard much from him at all, and I wonder what what's caused him to be just sort of, you know, uh, somebody sure. that they can get rid of. Gone. <laughs> Well, uh, the governors really can decide who their running mates want, uh, are going to be. Mm -hmm. We've seen uh, difficulties over many years. It can be a high-profile position. People forget that Mario Cuomo, governor for 12 years, was Hughes Carey as lieutenant governor, and he made it a very high-profile position. And there was um, Betsy McCoy Ross, as she was known mm. at the time. She certainly made it a high-profile position. Marianne Krupsack, going back a lot of years. But Bob Duffy, the former uh, mayor of Rochester and police chief of Rochester really was very low profile. A lot of people think he couldn't believe that he was actually picked for the job, and that's one of the reasons that he remained as quiet as he was. There was no indication that he had much of an impact on Cuomo administration policies. He should have been the voice of upstate. I mean, he was the mayor of Rochester, yeah. a city with terrible problems, but he really wasn't. So now, uh, let me just, just for, uh, on yeah. your opening comment, let me just mention something quickly. Race has always played a b big role in New York, uh, depending on, uh, you know, the elections at race, ethnicity. And this is a, a multi-ethnic, multi-racial state, especially in New York City, in New York City area. So right now you have Rob Astorino eyeing the possibility of selecting as a candidate for lieutenant governor, a running mate, a fellow from Buffalo who was the uni U.S. attorney out there, or was the U.S. attorney, who just happens to be African-American. Wouldn't it be interesting if the Republican mm -hmm. winds up with the only African-American in the ticket? And conversely, the governor, as he looks around for a replacement for Bob Duffy, is known to be considering black and Hispanic candidates, as well as uh, some suburbanites to counter Rob Astorino, who's the Westchester County executive. Yeah. He's supposedly looking at Steve Ballone, who's the uh, Suffolk County executive. All right. Well, let's uh, let's keep on top of that. I know you will for yeah. us, and keep us posted on what you hear. Your ear is always to the ground, I think. So, thank I mean, you, Fred. Both and Fred, ears. yeah, Fred is uh, <laughs> live at, from the state capitol on the radio. It's weekdays on Talk 1300 AM.